Today we're cooking buffalo. And for those of you who've never seen this animal, to put it simply, a buffalo looks very similar to a cow. A female and male buffalo have very distinct differences. The males are heavier than the female and usually weigh around 800 kilograms. They are deep black in color. Females are brown and have lighter horns. Females lack the pronounced bosses which are characteristic of the male buffalo. The females give birth after a gestation period of 11 months to one calf only. Buffalo are predominantly grazers, though occasionally browse on trees and shrubs. They move in very large herds, but split up during the rainy season, only to regroup near permanent water supplies after the rains. Today, our host Roger is with Chef Franz Hapana, preparing buffalo meat at the Boma restaurant in Victoria Falls. We are doing a grill for dinner tonight, and what I have in front of me is a buffalo hindquarter. What we are going to take from this buffalo hindquarter is the sirloin steak. We are leaving the top side and the silver side, and we're just about to find out why. With me is Chef Franz Habana. Chef, how are you doing? I'm fine yourself. Good. Now, Franz, we are taking the sirloin steak. Why are we taking sirloin steak and leaving that lovely looking top side? Right, the sirloin is more tender than the other parts of the meat and uh, it's suitable for grilling. Okay. Right. What we want to do is to marinate these steaks and stick the steaks beside a grill. Now, if you come to the Boma restaurant, pick out your steak and you have it fried for you by a professional chef. Chef, what's the next step? We have to turn rice our meat, cut it into slices. All right. We've got uh, the tough skin. We yep. remove the tough skin from the loin. Now you find although the buffalo is similar to the cow, the buffalo meat is a lot tougher because it goes through a lot more hard work in the wilderness than a cow would. Then you remove uh, these trimmings, right? Ceylon has got grains going this way, so you cut across the grains. Why do we cut across the grains? If you cut it along the grains, it will be tougher. I see. So you have to cut along uh, across the grains. Now, right. do we go through a tenderizing uh, um, process for this? Yes, we have to tenderize after slicing it. Just look at that lovely prime buffalo meat. Chef, it looks delicious. Thank you. Now, when you slice into it, it looks like it's very tender, but the knife that he has in his hands is very, very sharp. How many people do you think will be feeding at the Boma? Tonight we've got uh, 200 covers. After slicing the meat, you have to tenderize the meat. I'll tenderize that for you. Use this to tenderize your meat, right? Okay. Now, we've tenderized it. Yes. That will help the marinade get into the meat. Now, how long do we marinate this for before we go out? We we'll marinate this for 24 hours. So the one we're making today is for tomorrow. Oh, Keep it in the marinade overnight. I have now finished uh, tenderizing the meat. I'll move on to my marinade. I'll put the meat in this bowl and I'll make the marinade. To make our marinade, we'll use the cooking oil. That's our cooking oil. Use balsamic vinegar. That's our balsamic vinegar. What are you going to do this? You want to whisk it? Yes, I will whisk this one. Shall I start for you? Yeah, you can do that. OK. We've got the garlic. Garlic, onion, that's the celery, chopped celery. Chopped celery. Yes. So what's basically gone in here is a bit of cooking oil, some balsamic vinegar, garlic, Got onion. Uh, chopped carrots, 
What's this green stuff that you just put in? That's celery. Celery? Yes. I see. And Very chewy, man. Okay. Got a plum jam. Okay. That's the plum jam. Okay. Our salt and pepper. There we are. Right. Until the oil is uh, properly mixed in yeah, with the vinegar. Properly mixed with the vinegar. Right, there we are. Now we can put it in the meat. Okay. Lovely process. Yeah. We don't want to lose out on anything. Yes. Then we'll mix it. Okay and uh, leave it overnight. We'll use it tomorrow. Okay. Now the reason that you let it sit in this overnight is to properly absorb so everything that you've put in there. Yes. So that's how we tame the wild out here in Africa. A bit of buffalo sitting in the fridge for tomorrow's dinner.